What's up Raiders, Bionic here, welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. What are we gonna do today? Uh, yet another good enough build. I've got plenty of those on my account. Hopefully uh, you realize that uh, after yesterday's video where I said, you know, when not to max out a champion. So I've got a lot more examples, okay? Uh, so I thought, why not do a couple more build videos on some champions that I use? I'm going to say mainly for Faction Wars right now. Uh, and their gear is not maxed. Some of them do have masteries completed. But I, I figure it's a good time to do it because I'm getting closer to completing Faction Wars. And so if this team is working, I'm not going to invest more resources into it, right? So in here is a couple of good champions namely we have skull crusher i've done a build video on this guy before he's in my clan boss pretty well built but then we have uh three of them that are not exactly built for like any other things but this faction wars they could work elsewhere i'll try to use uh the champion that i'm gonna do today elsewhere but like overall i really kind of just use these champions in here except of course for a cold brawler here on the left which i also use for clan boss okay so the one we're gonna do today is uh shatter bones and then i'm gonna do bellower at some point grouped up at some point as well i've never done those champions before but what's interesting is that I had built Shatterbones for the Spicy Wing Contest, yet again, all right? And then I think we've got, yeah, we got a brand new uh, best time here. As you can see, it's really, really slow. It all depends on the first wave of me sort of like controlling the Cethalias and the Thanosols. Uh, but like, I did click on some of the champions, okay, for this to go faster. Uh, the last time was about 14 minutes. But hey, this is stage 20 on, I'll say, auto uh, with a good enough team is what we're going to call it. And uh, like I said, let's focus a little bit on Shatterbones today. Uh, what was I able to accomplish with this guy? And as I was saying, I had built this guy for uh, the Spicy Wing Contest. I like his kit. I think he has a very, very interesting kit overall. However, I do not need him for, let's say, Arena or clan boss therefore he's he's kind of just secondary right in that sense uh but anyway i do have a screenshot for you guys uh in a dungeon and then we're we're gonna try him out in the arena because why not right okay so the gear i ended up going with immortal you would think full speed ahead definitely full speed ahead for a champion like this is really good because of his kit but i decided not to do that because for stage 21 and for me to complete the faction wars ogren tribes which i have right here okay uh i had to have a little bit more survivability to not take too much damage from the HP burn. If you do not know about the last boss on this uh, Faction Wars, he has the HP burn, really annoying. And so my Gurp Tuck was not able to maintain all those champions alive enough, right? So I had to put a few immortal pieces on him. Still, I tried to go with as much speed as possible because he is a crowd control champion, not a hard CC, a soft CC because it's only turn meter increase and turn meter reduction, okay? Uh, but still, I made it work with what you see right here. And uh, what's interesting is that I, I had tried to build up for some like damage as well. So you'll see that my masteries are kind of not well done for the gear that I'm running, okay? But again, it is working. That's all I'm trying to prove yet again today. So let's go over these pieces right here, okay? Speed, crit rate, HP percent. I'm starting to have a lot of good immortal pieces. So it makes sense for me that my secondary champions, uh, the ones that I only use for Faction Wars, are gonna get this somewhat leftover gear, okay? Uh, I mean, immortal in a sense, you don't really see in Clan Boss and you don't see that much in the arena either, right? Uh, so I think it's, it's perfect for these champions right now for faction wars this piece right here again speed defense crit damage hp percent this is nice this shield is actually actually pretty solid uh it was on a different champion before but then at some point i shuffled things around and it was just sitting there so obviously this guy got it for the time being this gear will probably move around quite often okay again as i try to complete faction wars i'm just moving things then we have hp percent six star gloves not maxed out we have defense percent chess piece we have maxed out uh, six star uh, speed boots with three rolls on defense percent. This is actually a really nice pair of boots. Uh, I, I know it was on one of my clan boss champions at some point. And then I, I just, again, it, it got moved around and it was just sitting there. So I had to reuse it, right? We do have an attack ring with attack percent because I'm, I'm not only going for survivability, apparently. Uh, then we have a defense amulet. Okay. So, I mean, you see what I mean? Like I'm not... I wasn't exactly trying to make a perfect build out of this guy. I wanted him to be fast, have a little bit of survivability, enough accuracy, although it's a little bit low, and uh, it ended up working, okay, for stage 21. So again, uh, we have accuracy banner here. As for the skills, I did do them. I think 
the the original plan with him was for spicy wing contest and then it was tag arena and i invested in this guy because i'm like yeah i'm gonna need a turn meter control champ uh, especially because of these two skills right here okay an aoe turn meter reduction of 30 percent um it's 75% chance, with, which is still pretty decent. And then we also have a 15% decrease speed, which is a place, not a hit. That's always nice. With a fill of the turn meter of all allies by 25%. So I think my plan was like shatter bones with, uh, what's his name? Jingle Hunter. That was going to be one of sort of like my speed teams for Tag Arena. Ended up dropping that because I'm just, I was... I didn't have enough speed gear to gear all these champions to be really fast, okay? So instead, I just went with whatever was useful for the Faction Wars number one. Then for the Masteries, here's what I mean. This is sort of like a nuker build, right? Uh, I thought I was going to build him to be really fast and also deal some damage because if he cycles back around to his A2, it actually hits relatively hard. I was surprised. So uh, that was the plan. Ended up, you know, switching like halfway through, but like... I decided I'm not even going to change it until I really know what I want to do with this guy if I'm going to do anything else but faction wars, okay? So uh, kind of like my unusual Shatterbone builds. Again, this is not the best way to build him. Uh, other builds out there exist, but again, this is a good enough good enough for what I want to do, right? Of course, we also need to factor in of the Great Hall. I say this every time, but you guys need to understand this, right? This is affecting the stats quite a bit, okay? So accuracy, resistance, uh, crit damage is uh, also pretty high up there. Um, so here's a quick screenshot of a dungeon run, which I'm not, I'm not going to do today because I think um, you guys will all get the picture here. So what I did is I put Shatterbones in here along with Bellower, which I'm going to do probably next for a quick build video. But um, Shatterbones in here as crowd control is good enough-ish. And then my Bellower is sort of replacing my War Maiden for the decreased defense. It's the smaller version. He's not properly speed tuned for this to be efficient. But if he were, I suppose I would be a lot faster, maybe about a minute and a half. Okay, so Shatterbones in here, in here is replacing my Renegade, which typically just speeds up the run. But in this case, he's just controlling the waves and he's actually pretty solid at doing it. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to, we're going to go in the arena with this guy. We're going <laughs> to, we're going to try to not lose. Uh, so let's, let's pick, I don't know. Let, let's pick a team. Let's yeah, this looks pretty pretty rough for me. So let's remove my secondary crowd control champion. And instead, let's put this guy in here. Okay, he's a little bit-ish slow, but roughly same speed as my Harvest Jack. My Harvest Jack typically also has the shield set. So he's there to protect me. I'm going to lose that. Instead, what I'm going to gain is a little bit more crowd control. And we'll see if that's enough for me to nuke this team, right? Uh, I got to be faster. If I'm not faster, this is not going to work. So still, uh, I just want to show him in action. Okay, we are a little bit faster. Can I make it to my Tormund before she takes a turn? We did. We still have to hope for some crowd control here. So they're all provoked, which is what I wanted for, for the sake of, of showing this. Now, here's the issue. If you put this guy on auto, uh, I'm not entirely sure what dictates him using his a3 or his a2 first right in this case i don't know if it's because some of my champions are full turn meter right now uh then some of them have almost full turn meters as well so if i hit auto he went for war cry okay um sometimes though you would want instead to have that a2 right so uh that is sort of why i dropped him from tag arena i just could not rely on this guy on the defense and um a lot of champions are like this i think even madame cerise sometimes will only do her a2 in certain conditions so that is something you need to understand about champions still uh for for what i wanted to do i think that here it kind of worked well so let's speed boost again just for the heck of it uh let's go for whatever just aoe crowd control and then he would go into this skill right here right Boom, a lot of turn meter reduction, okay? See what I mean? So uh, he is a great champion. I think his kit deserves uh, for him to be used, at least, like I said, in Faction Wars, okay? So um, as you saw, I mean, that's where I'm mainly using him. Uh, I tried him in Dragon. I think he would also be interesting in perhaps the Ice Golem, but uh, the problem with the Ice Golem level 20 is that uh, you would be the weak affinity right so then he might be targeted first if you don't have a lot of sustainability that might be a problem for you guys uh but still i, I tried to figure out where i would put this guy in right now but like i would i, I suppose i would drop 
the Gorgrob, maybe give that a shot, see how it works. It would probably work. I mean, at some point, Rotos can almost solo the endgame boss if he uh, block revives the adds. But still, I think he deserves to be used. I want to know, are you guys using a Shatterbone anywhere else but Faction Wars right now? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later.